All right, there's the clean and simple card that we're going to make first. And let me show you where I started. I started with this card right here. And um, let me make sure, there it is. This card right here. This is my wow card. And then I worked backwards. Now, this was done with the All Things Fabulous set, and I don't have it. I don't have that set. So I went looking for something I could use instead. And I came up with the Painted Poppies. So this card uses the large poppy, the smaller poppy, the fill-in, the leaf, and the small sprinkles, not the big ones, the small sprinkles. And I discovered a few things that I can't wait to share with you. So here's our first card that we're going to make. So for that one, oh, and I don't have the pieces. I knew I was forgetting something. For this one, I wrote it down. It will be posted <laughs> after we're done. But you just need a piece of Whisper White that's five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a fourth. So this is a clean and simple card. All right. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your large outline and crushed curry ink. Um, oh, Tina, we're just getting started. Okay. Take your outline and crushed curry ink and you wanna stamp it twice on your card base then you take the smaller one and you stamp it and I kind of twisted it so it kind of fit in there and in the book the one the all things fabulous it's a three-step process so you get some coloring well there was no coloring on this doing this way so what I did was I pulled out the large blob, so to speak, um, for lack of a better term. And I'm gonna be using a scrap piece of paper because I'm gonna do some off stamping. Now with this, this little piece here, and if you flip it over, it looks like this at the top. That goes up right there in that section. Um, I gotta check this out. It take there it is. When I did it the first time, it was way too dark. So I stamped it, stamped it again, and then I went in and I made sure that that piece was at the top, and I got the coloring for the large ones. But wait till you see how you can color the small ones. All right, I gotta off stamp it twice, and I'm looking for my two spots and I'm kind of twisting it and I'm stamping it. Now it's okay if it goes out, it's an artsy card. But then I'm thinking, well, how am I gonna color that? Hi Kim, in comes the little sprinkle. So if you, and you can't stamp this one twice, you have to off stamp it once. You can take and you twist it and you twist it around again. So I'm taking this long piece here and I put it here and here. And then for the last one, you flip it around and you put it down at the bottom. And you've colored that in. Isn't that a cool idea? Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I discovered that. All right, so now we've colored our flowers. The next thing we wanna do, and I have a pad over here that I'm cleaning the stamps on, a wet pad, because I'm going to use that again with a different color. The next thing I needed to do is to add my leaves, and I use Seaside Spray. And with that, my Seaside Spray is tight. This one has a stem to it, but if you take and you ink this up and leave that stem hanging off like so, you don't get any ink down there, and you can tuck that in and see how it works. 
But you just have to remember, because I forgot a couple of times, when you go to re-ink it, don't go all the way down. And then you can tuck it up in there. And here's another one. And one more. And if you forget and you ink that stem up, just take and um, there you go. So just don't ink this part up. Kind of use this part of your stamp and ink from there over and hang this one off the edge. All right, then you need Misty Moonlight. All right, and you need your blob. And I don't know what the technical term is. I just call it a blob. And I did this one full strength because I wanted some contrast. And I just kind of put it on there where I wanted it. Then from the same, the, no, from a different set, the thanks comes from uh, Many Mates. It comes from Many Mates. If you don't have that one, that's a good one to get. I don't see it laying around here. I've stuck it somewhere. I thought they were over here. Oh, here it is. Yep, the Many Mates. It's got a lot of all occasions, but then it also has some sentiments for the inside. I used it for one of my um, classes, and it's it was great. So you're going to ink that up, all right, and make sure you look at it carefully and how it stamps. I know that the top of my stamp is straight. So there's the first clean and simple card. Cute, isn't it? I love it. Um, and I love the colors. I used the same colors that was in the book. So I didn't change them. I looked them up and I kept it the same. But suppose you want to step it up. So now we're using a different color background and a panel. And I moved my sentiment and added a ribbon. And wait till you see what I'm going to show you for the ribbon. So this is the card we're going to do. And my card base is Misty Moonlight, five and a half by eight and a half, scored it four and a fourth. And then I cut a piece of Whisper White, and this is three inches by four and a fourth. I remember that much, so we've got that. All right, now we're going to do the same process again on here. But as you can see, it's smaller, so they're not all going to fit. But that's okay. So pulling out your crushed curry, you're going to stamp your large flower. And I'm going to move this one down a little bit so I can get more on there. And I am doing that. See, I got it almost all the way on there this time and now I'm going to take and this one I'm going to tuck in also so I have it stamped with my crushed curry now I'm going to use my and I've got to clean my blob don't you like my technical technical terms I don't know what it is all right using my so saffron and do I have if you do it full strength, that's what you get. And I didn't like it. My stamp wasn't inked up very good. So that's why I went to off stamping it twice so that I got just a hint. So now I'm going to ink up my, and I got to make sure I've got a couple of spots where it doesn't want to ink up. So I'm going to off stamp it once, twice. I'm looking for that rounded piece at the top and my two pieces. And I'm going to line that up. All right. Once. Twice. All right. My two pieces are there. All right. So I've got that. There we go. Then I'm going back to my blob. And I'm going to fill it in. So I'm taking the first one and sticking it there. You can easily use this one also to color the large one if you like a more artsy look. And then this one goes down here at the bottom. 
So it just gives it a little bit of interest, I think. So I've got those. Then I'm going to pull out, oh, I forgot to show you the cards, Lynn. Don't let me forget. I'm going to pull out my Seaside Spray. And again, I'm not going past here when I put this on here. So I'm inking it up. And I use the bottom edge. It's just easier for me. And I'm going to stick this leaf in like so. And then I'm going to stick this one here and this one down here and I'm gonna have to wipe that off when I'm done because if not I'll get ink all over everything I should have put my paper underneath but I forgot all right I'm gonna stick that one in there and then I need one more at the top so I'm gonna stick it in there and then we're going to go to our um, blob, and I'm going to take my towel while I got it out to wipe that off, dry that off, and wipe the ink off of here. That towel, oh, I got to wash it. It has ink on it from the other day so much. Let's add our blobs in. So I'm going to put one over here, one up here, and one over here. I'm going to clean that while I'm thinking of it before I put it in my yellow on the next stamp and really mess it up. All right, so we've got that piece done. And I could have shifted it over some, so, you know, whatever. All right, I'm going to take this card, I'm kind of waving it, and I'm going to use my seal, every once in a while I get those pieces. I don't think I'm going up high enough. And I'm going to add this to the front of my card. And I'm trying to space it as close as I can, top and bottom. All right. And see, I've got a little bit here that I might need to trim off. But then in comes this punch. And I can't remember. It's triple something. I don't remember. You want to, you're going to use this opening. You're going to flip it over. And you're going to insert your card so that you until you start to see that piece. And I wanted it right about just the corner of that there. And I only want it about halfway. And you're going to punch. And look what you get. But it's perfect for putting your ribbon through, and I'm going to have to trim that before I tie this, and wrapping it around to the front. Let me, let me trim this before, trio punch. I knew it was triple trio something. Thanks, Tina. All right, I'm going to trim this edge off since it's a little too big. I and sometimes will do that, cut it just a fraction long, larger so that I have that ability and then look at this you take your ribbon and you wrap it around and I tied a knot I didn't worry about trying to tie a bow on here I'm gonna cut my ribbon like so And great way to add your ribbon because if not, then you're going to wrap it around your um, card panel. And then you can adjust this to get it there. Isn't that a cool idea? Oh, thanks, Annette. Um, hi, Carol. I love that idea. I'm a wealth of knowledge for that kind of stuff. I find these things and I start trying and playing and I believe in passing it on. All right, 
I'm going to take my thanks stamp and again I'm going to stamp it at the top so I'm going to make sure this is down here straight and I'm going to stamp it and there's the stepped up version but now suppose you want to go further you really want a wow card check it out here's the wow card and wait do you see how this one is done all right so what you need is and I did a lot of pieces ahead of time your card base is still the same. It's five and a half by eight and a half, score to four and a fourth, and it's still the misty moonlight. All right. So we go there. Now, the next thing you, I did was I stamped my images onto So Saffron cardstock with the crushed curry. And then I used the out that large piece and the sprinkles. And you can't see it there. I'm going to try it. I used daffodil. So I'm going to use some daffodil and kind of, oops, too much. Okay. I should have off stamped it. So you can go around here. And fill them in fill it in a little bit more but it just gives it a little texture all right and I'm just off stamp inking it up and off stamping it one time two times is too much so it gives it a little bit of I don't know, texture interest so that's how I did those and this one has a little bit more interest than others. All right. To do your panel, because these are going to be put on with glue dots, what you're going to do is you're going to take, and I laid out my images where I wanted them, and I tried to get them all on the card, so I had to play with them a little bit, like so. Once they're on there, then you can take your seaside spray. <laughs> I like that idea, Linda, pollen. Take your seaside spray, and remember, you're not inking up the stem. Ink up your leaf and stamp it on here. And it's okay if it goes off. I'm gonna add another one there. All right. Um, this one is gonna go up here. It may not show up a whole lot, but that's okay. And then I did another one down here, like so. All right. So now we got our leaves done. Hey Barb, I was wondering where you were. Pull in your misty moonlight. And, nope, I'm gonna wait for that. And the reason being is I didn't for mine. I put them together first and it was easier if you waited. So I'm gonna wait. All right, in the book, let me get it. Um, it had, it had used this, which I think may be the doilies, but I may, no, it's part of the, um, the dies for the set. And I didn't have the set of the doilies. Um, oh, bummer that you have no internet. Um, And I don't have those doilies. So I thought, well, what do I have that I can use instead? In comes 
the detailed bands die. So if you have these dies, you can use it to create the same thing. So I cut two of them. And I only cut half of it. You don't need the whole thing. Then you take, and you can't, I don't know if you can cut it in half. I don't know if it would work. I just cut two separate ones because then I could make it. Um, the key is this piece here. You need quite a bit of that to add it. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut these ends off. And I'm just going to kind of round them. And the reason being by cutting them off, you don't have to worry about it showing. All right, so I've got them cut off. Now, on your card base, this only leaves you a little bit. So if you come down about a half an inch, <laughs> thanks, um, come down about a half an inch and put your glue here, you'll have plenty of spacing for, um, uh, thanks, Linda. I I try to come up with ideas because it's like, I don't have that. What do I have? I can make work. So I'm coming down about a half an inch, and I'm putting it on center, side to side, top to bottom, and sticking it down. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the piece at the bottom. And that's why I used a large piece, because you have some... Um, place to put quite a bit of glue. All right, I'm going to go up about a half an inch and I'm going to put this down like so. All right, then we need to put down this piece. So I'm going to pull in my seal. I really think my first one was defective because it was wrapped on itself and everything else. All right, this one goes on here and you're going to watch because you want this piece and this piece to look exactly alike. And I'm gonna slide it over slightly, like so. And do I have to cut a, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to cut a little bit off of this one too. I would rather cut a little bit off than have it too short. All right. So, there it is. I was going to say, oh my gosh, I put it, did it wrong, but I had it upside down. So, there's our card. Now, we're going to add our ribbon, and I want to do this piece before I put my flowers on. So, again, I'm pulling in that trio punch, and I'm putting it in here, and I'm watching, and I'm kind of going in about the middle of that um, that edge and you really have to apply some pressure because you're punching through three layers so I find it easier if you turn it upside down and you push on the sides um, don't push here I did that the first time and I pinched my hand <laughs> so another tip for you all right now before I put this together or my ribbon on I'm gonna put my dimensionals on the backs of my flowers and add my um, sprinkles. Couldn't think. I could look at them and say, what are those things called? All right, so I'm just adding some dimensionals to the back. I'm going to put these down and by having those I have a pretty good idea of where I need to put it all right let me get my backs off use my pokey tool my nails my nails have a tendency to split this way because of all the paperwork I do I need to take the polish off and put more on it. That seems to help. Um, but then the polish is drying also, so. It's a no-win situation. 
All right, so let's see. I'm going to put this one down here like so. This one goes up here, and it's okay if it goes off a little. And then this one goes down here, and it's going to cover up a lot of the leaf, but that's okay. There, so we've got that. Now, using our Misty Moonlight, we can add our sprinkles. And I'm going to put one here and one over here. And I want one down here, so I'm going to pull in a scrap paper and butt it up against it because I don't want the ink on my... There we go. See? All right, so we have that. Now we can add our ribbon. And I ordered more of this ribbon. I was getting low and it's like, oh, I can't, I can't be without this ribbon. It just makes some cards. All right, so I'm pulling it through. And I do make sure it's straight because it just, it ties better. And I got way too much over there, so I'm gonna pull it back some. Still too much. Okay, now I got it. That's better. All right, and I'm going to pull this down just slightly. And I'm going to tie my knot. I know, no bows, no bows. Everybody's probably saying, thank heavens. And this is off so I can take and shift it a little. Let me just kind of bend your card and pull it. There we go. Now let me cut my ends like so. And then for my sentiment, it was like, well, I can't put it up at the top like I did for the other one. So what I did was I took a scrap of um, Seaside Spray and I stamped the thanks in Misty Moonlight. And we're gonna add that with dimensionals up in this corner so that there's it's popped up so I have to ask you ladies do you think this is so close to the one in the book even though I didn't use the same stamp set I'm just gonna put that right there and I'm leaving a little bit of white showing just so it gives it some interest. And there's the stepped up wow version. All right, so we started with clean and simple. We stepped it up and we stepped it up to a wow. And I think I did pretty good with this card this card, oh, I gotta go up a little bit, there. This card, so you can see it. And making it my own. Uh, as you can see, they used the ribbon, they didn't tie it, I think they used it as a strip. They did add some sprinkles to it. Um, um, rhinestones or something so you can do that but I didn't do it on this one and I may when I'm all finished but all the measurements and everything are posted now Lynn you had asked about the Christmas Club Christmas card series and you wondered what the cards look like so I'm gonna show them to you real quick <laughs> you like mine better <laughs> well I didn't have that stamp set and I did have this one so 